Ah, ha, ha. Oh, that's hot. Pulling out the coupe at the lot. Told him for a 12 fuck swat. Buzzing all the bells that's out the box. That's hot. I just hit the link with the box. That's Had hot. Stick in the box. That's hot. Pour up the whole damn seal. I'm gonna get lazy. That's hot. I got the mojo deals. We that's hot. Like the 80s. That's hot. She said the nigga so. Ah, ha, ha. Got the cash out. That's hot. Don't wipe a nigga, no. That's hot. Say slash slash. That's I hot. won't never sell my soul. Ah, ha, ha, ha. I can back that. That's and hot. I really wanna know. That's hot. Where you at? Where? I was at back. Where the stash at? Cruise the city in the bullet. Yo, G. Pretend and Mike, you're back again with another key video, and today we're gonna be reviewing. Bad boys for life and also spies in disguise. Luckily enough, I got the chance to watch both of them before the cinemas closed, thank God. So now I'm gonna give it the review from both of the films and how I thought about them, what I liked, what I didn't like, and what I felt could be improved. But nonetheless, you know the deal, yo. Like, comment, subscribe if you wanna see more of this content. Now, in terms of the piece that I'm doing, I kinda saw the stuff from Spies in Disguise and I thought, why not make it from the bad boys itself? Because I just thought, like, since Will Smith is in it, it's better to actually do it as well with his main man, Martin Lawrence, in the actual Spice in Disguise universe. But honest to the film for Bad Boys, I'm not gonna lie, this kind of brought a tear to my eye. The ending really got me. I know I just jumped over to the ending, but obviously it's very nostalgic seeing Will and Martin together. Basically, Fresh Prince of Bella and Martin just playing along. Not gonna, it didn't have the Michael Bay effect of action, but nonetheless, the nostalgic presence was there, the action was still presented, the comedy was still on top, but I'm not gonna lie really, the bromance was really enhanced and I really and truly enjoyed watching them two work together once again because it's been a long time, you know, it's been actually a long time coming, but I'm really happy with how the film turned out, it was a nice conclusion to the bad boys um, quadrilogy should we call it uh, firstly in terms of the bads it, I just really wanted a bit more like action like you know from the bad boys scene to when they're on the highway I really like that scene and sadly obviously when I was young I couldn't watch it so I had to wait until I was 18 to watch bad boys so <laughs> great great but now bad boys for life was a really really good romance film I watched it and I was really like the ending just, I can't really spoil the ending, but I mean, it, it got me, it got me a bit, I was just like, dang, I remember seeing the, you know, the VHS trailers on TV just popping up, you know, it's like, dang, this, this is it, this this is the finito, oh uh, man, but hey, all good things gotta end, and also, good times, bad, good times, bad times, bad boys for life, we ride together, we die together, that's a good film. Now, honest to Spies in Disguise, this film, I was a bit surprised by the cast choice. I was like, oh, it's Spider-Man and, and Will Smith. All right, gang, 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 let's go. But obviously, um, it's about a civilian agent, basically Men in Black. Actually, I got many Black flashbacks and I was like, huh. But uh, Men in Black being a super agent, but then gets turned into a pigeon for a super mission to go and face off a villain who... I'm not gonna spoil, but um, he reminds me of the claw from Inspector Gadget. <laughs> but in terms of the film and the story itself, it was okay. It was okay. It wasn't really like a like a like a ten out of ten, like a great one. It was just like okay. The one thing that got me the most was the animation, and I really, really, honestly enjoy just watching the chemistry between Will and uh, Tom Holland. But I felt. The film was a bit rushed. I was like, this is being rushed too much. And I wanted to see more of them kind of bonding and trying out certain weapons and gadgets. And I was just like, I mean, I get it. They used them at a certain point in the film, but I was I wanted to see the development of it. To be honest, let me be, let me be true here. I would have loved to see, maybe later on, to see this as a series as uh, Lance, the actual guy who plays uh, Will Smith, um, the Will plays in the film. Basically, him and, and Tom Holland's character, the growth and how they 
became to be the best agents in the in the company because I feel like this would be a really good cartoon for a series and that's one thing I really wanted about this that's the one thing that really nagged me besides that it was it was an okay cartoon the animation got me I'm actually I'm actually gonna buy the artwork because the style of how they did lands and the structure and the jaw this is why I did it in the piece itself was to capture the the masculinity you know the jawline the shoulders everything the suaveness the slickness was been played in good um it's not really any bad it's just like it was really a kids film but i just watched it because i was like i want to see how it is but nonetheless i was i was impressed by the animation and i'm gonna learn this more on the side but nonetheless in i keep on saying nonetheless i need to stop i enjoyed this film still okay let take backs romance a lot of animation techniques i'm gonna try out but let me know what you guys think did you like the film have you watched the films uh are you going to watch the films is there something that you liked about and did it let me know in the comments down below and uh yeah this has just been my review from today mikey and i'll catch you guys on the next vid for living your best life and do your best and forget about the rest and see you soon skadoosh